Um, how have the other drivers been for you? Yeah, it's been pretty awesome. Everyone's nice and you know welcoming and stuff, and uh, it's good to chat with the front guys who we'll be racing with tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's been really cool. Teammates are helpful as well, and you know trying to talk about the car and brake bias settings we have and stuff. So everyone's really open. It's awesome. Is this purely a one-off, or could there be more if this goes well tomorrow? It, it is just a one-off for this year, but yeah, I, I love it here. NASCAR is really fun, so hopefully today and tomorrow leads to more. If you had one word that encapsulates this entire Chicago NASCAR Street Race yep. weekend for you, what would that be? Nuts. <laughs> yep. What surprised you the most about all of this? I know this is this is kind of new to you. Yep. I heard you did some uh, laps over in Charlotte on the yep. Roval. How yep. did you take it all in? I guess the intensity was the biggest surprise right when practice start like it's a new track for everyone so I thought okay we'll all cruise and first lap slow and build up but everyone was just into it and passing each other and racing so quite different to how we would approach things at home um, so yeah but I just kept to myself ended up finding a nice gap on the track and just improved every lap and got comfortable and you know they were saying I was P3 or 4 on the radio pretty early so that was a, that was a nice surprise. How do you take all of this in? This really Yep. How does this compare to anything you've seen down under? I've never been to a city like this, so yeah, it's all pretty fresh. Um, obviously, I don't look at it while I'm driving, but um, yeah, it's it's different. It's you know, it's pretty pretty cool to do this so close to a city. We do a few races right in the city, but um, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty impressive. If you were introducing yourself to a viewer who had no idea who you were, you say my <laughs> name is and I do this. Give me give me yep. thirty seconds about you. Yeah, so I'm Shane Van Gisbergen. I'm V8 supercar driver in Australia, rally car driver, sprint car driver, drift cars, anything. <laughs> so you got a car for me, I'll race it. Does it surprise you how well you did out here today to qualify P3? Uh, nothing really surprises me too much with that, but I knew that my prep was good. Um, I did as much as I could to be up to speed. It's a new track for everyone, and these cars are more relative um, you know, than the cars they had a year ago. So. Yeah, for sure I knew I could do well, but I didn't had no idea where I would be. How different are they than a V8 supercar? Yeah, very different. Like you're on the other side, things got no no doors, and um, they are a little bit heavier. But other than that, they're they're pretty similar. You just gonna walk up to it and reach for the door handle. No, no, I've learned to <laughs> learned to get in. Yeah. Um, how about racing against people that you've never raced against before? Yep. I mean, in Australia, if you yep. kind of know what you can do to certain people, I mean. Is that the most nervous part of it tomorrow? Not really, I do that all the time, so yeah, it should be fine. What do you expect mm. now after qualifying? What is your kind of expectations for the race? Yeah, I don't know, it's weird to not race for 24 hours or drive, like normally we have a warm up in the morning or a qualifying, so it's weird to wait a whole day. But um, yeah, I don't really know. I don't, I'll just take in all the pre-race stuff. It's very different, um, I think tomorrow, so see how it goes. How is your heart rate right now? Yeah, I'm pretty hot, like I didn't run the cool shirt and um, yeah, I was pretty hot the whole time. But How did you feel on turn four? I hear it's like horrific. Yeah, but everyone looked like they were taking it pretty easy through there. Like it's so bumpy and the concrete was changing every lap. So um, yeah, I just kept building up. And typically when a guy like Kimi comes in or uh, Jensen, you guys all say they're great race car drivers, but they don't have experience with the platform, and that's the, the reason they're behind. But with Shane, he drives a car that's very similar. Can he contend for the win tomorrow? Well, I mean, the biggest thing I notice is the guy is lightning fast in all the corners. I feel super uncomfortable using that extra three inches against the wall. So where the track is the narrowest, and you know, we're actually, you saw it, you know, Chase and those guys kind of get into the wall is where he is extremely fast. So he's just got a feel for those barriers and where he's, you know, the car control that he has. And um, that's that's his advantage right now is that, you know, we're we're not used to have to cutting the, the corners that tight and, and he is. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's been impressive what he's done today for sure.